Hello Casio fans from all over the world. I am so disappointed to see that this watch does not work. Will I make it work? Stay tuned to find out if I will manage to fix this watch. I bought this piece of art from the online freely market with 7 euros including shipment. The display was blank, so I presumed that replacing the battery will solve the issue. Before starting my journey in bringing it back to life, let me quickly present it shortly. This is a B612W, released in 1988, according to this site. And judging by the shape of the case, I would say that it's the predecessor of B640. W. This watch has 35mm in diameter, a lug to lug of 36 and the thickness less than 8mm. Nice dimensions, love it and let's not forget, a pretty scratch silver plated case. The color scheme is very simple, two colors, blue and yellow and two non-colors. If we turn around this watch we have the back case. Four screws are keeping it in its position, and one aspect that we definitely need to say is that we do not know where this watch was made. China, Japan, Taiwan… Don't worry, it's mentioned Japan on the fixation clamp from the bracelet. The model number is 695, as we have it engraved on the back. And it is a very modest module, it has time and date. In the timekeeping mode, with the top pusher we triggered the date, and with the bottom pusher we triggered the time and date setup. We have to highlight that the adjust pusher is masked in the case. We see this feature especially on older models. Since we have only the water resistant logo, means that this watch withstand only water splashes but having a large gasket underneath this back case means also that we can swim with it and also scuba diving. The strap is great, I love it. It has 5 columns, larger on the edges and getting smaller towards the middle. The fixation for the clamp is easily adjustable and I can say that compared with my AQ230 is more reliable, it does not bend. Casio, you have reduced the quality, what's happening? What I do not like at this type of straps is that as they age they become more loosened, therefore is longer and is bending very easily left and right, like a snake movement. But you will not lose them, as they are fixed with very reliable spring bars, as in my lovely AQ303. For the cleaning of the watch I have prepared two processes, one is called rinsing and the other polishing. Yes, you've guessed, I will sink the watch in a small recipient with water and dish detergent. Then I will polish the display, but I am not that confident I will manage to bring it in a better condition, it is very scratched. Now let's see the rinsing, as I will first test my new device with this my LG Shock. As you might know, I have uh, bought this multifunction cleaner, which is a cleaner for jewelry and also glasses and for sure watches. Therefore, I will use it, but first I will not use the watch that I will be reviewing today. I will be testing this uh, equipment with a G-Shock, a resin G-Shock, I have teared down the watch entirely, placed the battery, now the watch, uh, this smile watch, it's a G-Shock, you see that brownish color from the case, it's basically dirt, and my hope is that with this cleaning device I will be able to clean it as much as possible. So this equipment works very simple. 
my biggest question is why does it have three power supplies basically you have this power supply which connects to a usb port you have batteries and it also has batteries included i am now placing the disassembled watch in the recipient add some dish detergent and cover it with water then press start so it's five minutes that we need to wait i have opened the cover you see the blue light from there we see that it vibrates and it vibrates pretty well yeah for sure it's small vibrations but with high intensity it's also visible that uh, some impurities has already fallen down from the watch so i'm not sure if it has already passed five minutes i will close it okay and now let's see what is the result as I am removing the watch from the recipient, we see the leftovers. I would conclude that this device provides good results, since this was previously cleaned by me. I will now take the B612, remove the bracelet and prepare it for the rinsing process. I want also to place the case into the device, therefore I will remove the module. The module remover was difficult, because the space was narrow. After you get familiar with this interior, then it becomes very, very easy. After this, I will seal the case again and then start the process. After 5 minutes I have ended the rinsing process, removed the parts and briefly dried it in a napkin. If we look on the recipient we see a lot of dirt, definitely it does its job. I just have placed the seal, now I will be placing also the back case together with the screws. Let's clean it. My poly watch. And well, it's definitely an improvement, but at the deep scratches, this watch was scratched. I guess it was in a pile of watches. And this is the reason it got that scratch. These deeper scratches, I cannot remove them. But now the display itself is way more clear. And also the water resist and the castle logo, it's, it's now better visible. You might have seen that the watch does not work, it has a battery inserted but the display does not show anything, if I slightly press on the module then the digits will appear then fade away uh, pretty fast. My hope and my expectation is that the battery that I have used is partially drained Therefore, I have bought a new set of batteries and I will try to use a new one. So, I will uh, quickly open again the watch and replace the battery. 
now I will take off the bag and remove the seal and then to remove to easily extract the movement from the case I will just insert this where I have some space and try to evenly pull out yeah good now the module is removed in order to exchange the battery you need to take down this metal foil and it has four uh, clips if you remove two of them you might see that it is already damaged in this area because me and all previous owners have removed it while changing the battery and now I will do it for the I don't know how much time yeah this is the metal foil that keeps the battery in and also helps the pushers to uh, touch the PCB we have here the PCB that you can uh, take it off and here is the minus of the um, watch this moves uh, and uh, it easily falls I'm not sure if the watch itself is damaged or this is how it's supposed to work and yes this is the module uh, and before um, replacing the battery I will also take small plate that is responsible uh, for making the connection between the PCB so this area and the area of the screen I will take it off and this I will clean it with um, VD44 uh, contacts and the circuit being very anxious to see if the watch works I have cleaned as much as I could this contact it looks like being of rubber I'm not sure what what is the material from it okay now let's put this small metal plate that provides the contact between the minus of the battery and the minus of the PCB good now let's put the PCB in its position perfect okay and now let's take a new battery I did not measure the battery but good and now on top we put the plate that keeps the battery in its position just to make sure all the clips are placed and and it does not work great under strong light the display is kind of visible to conclude i can say that i am sad because the display does not work if some of you knows what to do your opinion is highly appreciated. Simple watch, classic look, good color combination, 36 years old. If you find one, get it. Thanks for watching, wishing the best.